Hello and welcome back to another installment to Pokefodder. Today we are talking Jurassic World Live and I have some fun little stuff going on. We'll look at the week ahead, maybe tomorrow. No, tomorrow. Okay, so they've, they've teased, and when I say they, I mean Jurassic World Live. They have teased that something is going to happen for um, April Fool's Day. And if you'll remember last year, it was a incredibly difficult Lord Lythornix. Easier, the one that's in, easier than the one that's in the campaign missions currently, but still extremely difficult. Um, Game Press, I'll put a link to the description in the description down below. They did a write-up after doing a data mine that says it's not Lord Lythornix this time, but they're not revealing exactly what it was. Something like it has seven different moves. If if I'm to guess. I would say it's like Majunga Suchis. And I don't know anything. So if I'm right, then it was strictly a guess. I'm not giving anything away on purpose. I'm strictly making a guess. But I know that the reason why they did Lythornix is because it was such a meme dinosaur at the time. It's still kind of a meme dinosaur. But in the Ludia Studios, they had an entire like wall sanctuary area for Lythornix and, and fan art of Lord Lythornix. And I feel like Magenda Suchis is kind of a meme at this point as well. It's one of the worst figures in the game, creatures in the game. So that is my guess, strictly guessing. Whatever it is, I will get up early on Tuesday morning, go make a video somewhere in my neighborhood, um, not getting out far because of COVID-19, but I will go out, make a video on it, and then upload it as soon as possible. So look for that on Tuesday morning. And then after that, we will talk about the week ahead. There are, off the top of my head, I think there's four. <laughs> I think there's four epic strikes. And I want to say that there are five rare strikes throughout the week, maybe even six rares. We'll get into all that later. We've got plenty, plenty of time. And as you can see, like I haven't shaved and I don't know how long I might shave today, maybe tomorrow. But anyways, that's not the topic of today's video either. What we are going to talk about is the hybrid pursuit for this week is, ooh, so happy about this one. And I'm the only one who's happy about this one. I, I'm pretty sure. But the hybrid pursuit for this week is Erlicogamma. Yes. Now, I live in a local too. Erlicogamma, or Erlicosaurus Gen 2 is a rare spawn here. So I'm already able to collect those fairly frequently, especially if I go out and use a rare scent capsule. And I do have two rare scent capsules that I can go out and hunt with on top of the giga scent capsules. I can do a lot of hunting, but increased spawns of that. And if we go look, I've been saving up for a little while because I need 5,000 DNA in order to take a Lycogamma from level 28 up to 29. With a 250 fuse, if I average 20 per, and I've not been anywhere close to 20 per lately. If you will remember, if you've been following me for a while, Smile and Nimmies, like I want to say I did, gosh, what did we have? We had nine. So I think I did eight fuses. I had a 50 and seven tens. So not very good progress. Like the 50 was great. The seven tens I could have done without. So not very good progress. I'm still short. I had hopes of making this level 26. Did not come to fruition. But here we go. Mass fusion, 25,000 coins. And then it's going to cost me like another 200,000 to level this up from 28 to 29. So this is going to bleed me pretty close to dry. Oh, snap. And I only got 5130. So out of all, I got a 100 fuse, I got a 90 fuse, and I think it was either an 80 or a 70 fuse. And I'm not complaining, like I did more than 20. But how many 10s did I get in there in order to only do 130? So I did 130 more. That seems like a really bad average. But oh well. Now 7,500 away for my first ever level 30 creature 3516 is going to be the health on this it is a tier 5 i will take this up to tier 6 and then call it quits on that it is tier 9 attack which is 1843 i will take this up to i think 14 and then speed stays at 150 it's tier 10 we're done with that all right i don't even know what my strike team is but we're just going to roll with it 
I've changed it up a little bit. I'm going to like drop my, my strike team down a little bit and use better figures that are under leveled instead of lesser figures that are higher levels for this particular season. I think that's subject to change. And additionally, Erlico Gamma is staying on the squad. I'm having a hard time finding an opponent here. So we will, uh, we'll cut back in whenever I have something more to say and I have an opponent. It's really, really bizarre that I could not find an opponent when the season just started. Like the last season ended, you got your uh, Allosaurus Gen 2 and I didn't even get, ugh, this could be pretty brutal. I could get pretty much train wrecked on this. Um, I did not even get Erlico Gamma for this particular battle. <sighs> Thor is in here just, I, I, I can't even explain why Thor is in here. I just, it's, it's in here just to do this. Uh, 18 and 18 is like 36. So I can actually survive unless he crits, which has been known to happen. So that actually worked out okay, because now I'm going to drop the stun and yes, I know. <laughs> Four. All right, all right. I have to say, like, something has to be done with Thor. Not because it's impossible to beat, but I am seeing, I think people are smart now, and they've caught on that giving it super high speed is not really the best approach to building your Thor. And so now they're putting it in the, like, high 120s, low 130s, but then they're giving it, like, 3,000 attack. And those are a pain to deal with. So, um, I'm just tired of facing it. I mean, just truth be told, I'm just tired of seeing it. I don't know. Like, it's not that it's this amazing figure. Like, if it were Gemini Titan, I would, I would, I would just be, like, pulling my hair out. But it's not Gemini Titan good. Like, not even, it's not even in the same ballpark as Gemini Titan. Um, but yeah, like, oh, come on. A crit there would have been, would have been great. Although, this is going to go ahead and take out Draco Rex, Draco Ceratops here. Even with regen, I probably could have done my, my smaller attack. 18, yeah, for sure. I just wanted to make sure I got the KO. That was, that was a bad play on my part. Uh, that was a missed pl misplay on my part. Should have done the lesser attack and then save the rampage for something a little higher stature. Oh, wow. I would have thought I'd had instant distraction coming here. I feel like I'm probably going to go ahead and win this. Um, superiority strike doesn't doesn't really matter to me. I'm going to get the, the revenge attack here, the counter attack, if you will. Um, I mean, we'll just, <laughs> we'll just swap this in. He's probably going to go with the ferocious strike would be my guess. Uh, yeah, Ferocious Strike would be my... That's my best guess. In which case, if he does, then I completely negate the majority of that attack. Uh, we'll drop in some Bleed. I kind of wanted to get Mamolania out there. Mamomania. But this isn't a showcase for Mamo. And the bleed is going to do what the bleed does right here. And GG. GG. All right. So one win. No Erlico Gamma. I really want to see how Erlico Gamma does in the battle arena at level 29. I will take it up to 30. And then, um, then I don't know what I'm going to do. But to remind to remind everybody, the reason why I started messing with Erlico Gamma is because I live in local two. We're stuck in your home local for as far as the as far as you can tell. Um, and this, so it was easy for me to level up. I have had help from my alliance, so I want to say thank you to everybody. Ooh, and this sets up really nice because I have an option here. I could lead with it, and then I have the escape clause of going into Thyla, or I could come in with a revenge kill and try to go for the finish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open here with Endogen 2 and I'm pretty sure, yeah, like I would have just absolutely smoked this level 28 Endo pretty bad. I would have smoked it. I, I have to be careful. I haven't 
really figured out where Erlico Gamma shines. I don't recommend leveling up Erlico Gamma. It's, um, I like it just because I like it, because the components are easy for me to accumulate in mass quantities. Um, aside from that, it's, it's not the best. Oh, do we just go rampage? I, I, I often, I should, I should just pick one and go with it and say, I'm always going to cautious strike or I'm always going to rampage because I end up trying to play the guessing game and like playing blackjack on a 16 or 15. Like it's a losing game. If you, if you constantly change, if you just say, this is what I'm going with, then that's what you do. Um, I, I may not even get to bring in or like a gamma here, but I haven't figured out the best way to use it. I, I haven't figured out, do I want to lead with it? Do I want to close with it? And typically I don't think closing with it is the answer. I think it's a revenge killer. And then your revenge kill with massive damage, which is gonna prevent them. Oh, oh, his poor little Draco Ceratops is about to meet its end. Yes. I'm curious, it used to do 3511 damage. Now this is gonna be a one shot. It doesn't matter what my opponent does here. You just kiss this thing goodbye. But I wanna see how much damage this thing does. 3686. I can deal with that. And then once it gets up to level four, tier 14 is going to be even better. Uh, 147, I'm going to outspeed this. Oh, he's going to go into cloak. Ain't no thing. At this point, I'm pretty sure that I win just because, like, there's nothing that he's going to be able, my opponent's going to be able to do to slow down or lick Ogama. There's just nothing. Nothing that they're going to be able to do. Uh, this is probably going to be a one-hit KO, but then the thing is, is I just bring in my Erlico Gamma back in, drop another almost 3,700 damage down. He only has one creature remaining. Whatever I, whatever he swaps into is going to do 50% less damage, and then I have a 75% reduction in damage on top of that. He's not even going to bother. It's going to be a, a winner, winner, chicken dinner. 4608. All right. I'm cool with an almost 5k crit, and then when that thing is finished out, it'll definitely be over 5k, so we're two for two. And uh, let's try to get one more battle. There. <laughs> see if we can get one more battle in here. See if we can get, we're just going to, uh, we're going to speed open this guy real quick, just to create room. And then there is a link in the description below for 50 hard cash. It's only claimable once for the entire week. Make sure you spend it wisely. I personally recommend using it to open up incubators. That's that's my personal. You you spend it however you see best fit for your team. And here we go. Third and final battle. We're already we're already two, two wins into this. Erlico Gamma? No. No Erlico Gamma. So what I'm gonna do is unfortunately, I think you guys saw what Erlico Gamma can do. It, it can cause a lot, a lot of problems. Whoa. 145 with 2K. This thing is going to hurt quite a bit. Um, I think I go here. Ouch. And he got the crit. But 24, 22. Now, even if he cloaks, I can hit through that. Oh, yeah. People just don't know. Watch this. It's going to be a sad day. Sad day for Earl Adam. Bye-bye. <laughs> so many people do that. I guess maybe they just don't know what Nimmies is capable of. Stiggy Derricks. I'm cool with this because now I can just spam Rampage moves. Um, I'm not, I'm, I did this Rampage move not even hoping that I can swap out. I did it strictly because I knew I could do double damage and I'm not going to swap out, which is going to keep me in. So now I can, I can cleanse. I can just straight swap, but I'm not going to do either. I'm actually going to do my big attack into his swap and dodge here because again, I go through dodges, cloaks, um, evasive stance, all that good stuff. I go right through it. So here's going to be another 2,400 unless I crit, which I did not. Another 2,400 damage there. I'll take the KO here. And then what do I want to do? What's he coming at me with? Uh, 2,800. I 
kind of feel. Kind of feel like I want to go with the revenge kill. You guys haven't seen Mammolania here in this particular video. Let's see. So uh, that's 2860. It's 2858, I think, unless he crits. Ooh, my phone's getting really hot. You see it's dropping frames here. But there's the revenge KO. And, uh, yeah, depending on what my opponent brings in here, it's going to do quite a bit of damage. Yoshi. Yoshi could do a distraction. Oh, just nullifying strike. So I'm going to do like 3,600 and change. Maybe 3,500 and change. Um, let's see. What do we got? 2,500 and change. Okay. Okay. And then, man, he's just going to do Nullifying Rampage, or Nullifying Strike, or whatever the Nullifying... Yeah, Nullifying Strike, because I was within knockout range. It's going to give me an easy 1,000 right there. Uh, distracting Rampage, I'm going to get two attacks off, and that's uh, probably going to do 545 damage at least. Yeah, for sure. Nice. Perfect 3-0. No. Not as much uh, Erliko Gamma as I would have liked, but enough to get the dub, and... Uh, Chico, 30 more, uh, 30 more ELO. Anyways, that is all that I've got for this one. Remember, pay attention tomorrow as soon as I can. I will I'll try to wake up early, try to get out and do the video on whatever the, um, whatever the particular April Fool's Day. I think it's on the 31st and the 1st. If not, I'll do it on the 1st. I don't even know what today is. Today's the 30th, so maybe it's not until Wednesday, but whenever it happens, I will definitely get that covered for you. So there you go. That's all I've got for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time.